in the seconds before my first boxing match, skin becomes liquid for three rounds of three minutes. The ring is Niagara Falls, caught in each of our throats. A meteor shower rains down, glazing the only two people on the planet in a cocoon of blurred leather. Nine months of shadow boxing as personal exorcism has built this one nine minute long breath to get it all done right after 90 days counted in a jump rope metronome. The bell snaps us both awake like a 5 a.m. fire alarm. An electric storm courses through each sinew and these first few seconds before this first punch is thrown, I am free of sin. Finally, nothing matters that is not inside this ring. I have never been this deep in another person's breath and sweat. Eye contact held longer than three seconds means you will either fight or fuck and we are twisted through each other's pupils. Divinity is grueling intimacy. Organisms living in deep sea volcanic vents, there is only the slow motion glide into this viscous union accompanied by the thought that he is trying to punch me in the head. I do everything I can just not to vomit, dig into each millisecond of the 330 hours spent baptizing bodily fluids in spit buckets, memorizing mantras etched on heavy bags, swearing oaths that I ain't going out like some sucker. His arm is curved, launching through the lights, a dive bombing sickle with a grenade for a fist exploding square on the top of my head. We are teaching each other the unique languages from the continents of our bodies, instructions on how to get close and pull away, crack through stone to find the tender pulp beneath, exchange everything soft, hard, and wet, regardless of where you come from. This ritual tattoo of excellence is the same 333,000 seconds spent memorized by the warring thump of the gym calling out the motivation to touch God. At the end of the fight, our magma embrace creates a single fossilized statue as we whisper into each other's ears, shit man, ain't gonna be no rematch. The ref splits us both apart, grabs his left wrist, my right, the only time one man can hold two tornadoes hovering above the ocean. Three months, 90 days, 330 hours, more seconds than I can count, dissolved in the perfect quaking silence before the deciding glove is raised. <laughs>